A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood stars Tom Hanks as the very famous Fred Rogers and is actually about the uh, real life journalist Tom Junod, whose name is changed in this movie to Lloyd Vogel, and their actual relationship with each other. So Lloyd is in a very emotionally compromising point in his life. His dad has come back into his life and there's a lot of uh, ill emotions between them and he's trying to get over that. And he's actually sent by his magazine editor to do a profile on Mr. Rogers. I was really expecting from the trailers and everything, I was really expecting a very surface level kind of feel-good sentimental movie like uh, Saving Mr. Banks, which of course starred Tom Hanks as Walt Disney. But this was actually a much more thoughtful movie than I expected it to be. It took on some fairly serious themes. It's only PG, so there's not like really dark stuff that they tackle, but I mean, they tackle stuff like grief and all that, and it's very true to the way Mr. Rogers would actually talk to kids. He wouldn't avoid the harder subjects in life, which I do like that they actually made Lloyd Vogel a very mentally broken down person in this movie. And he becomes fascinated with Mr. Rogers, of course, and is able to kind of find himself through Mr. Rogers, in a way. Which is shown in the trailers. Now, one of the biggest aspects, one of the biggest draws of this movie is, of course, Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers. And I do think that he does a very good job in the role. I think that he, obviously, with the makeup and everything, he looks a lot like Mr. Rogers, especially the side profile. Looks almost exactly like an older Mr. Rogers. But my biggest complaint is that it always feels like he's acting. It doesn't feel super genuine. It feels like he's definitely in a role, which is hard to get past because, of course, Tom Hanks is one of the most famous actors on the earth. Mr. Rogers is one of the most famous pop culture <laughs> celebrities of all time in recent memory. So having an actor of his stature play a role that's very different from what he usually does doesn't flow as well as you'd hope it to, but he does do a really good job in finding that aspect of Mr. Rogers that was so sweet. Another thing I didn't know about this movie until way later than I like to admit is that it was directed by Marielle Heller, who directed Can You Ever Forgive Me from last year, which was one of my favorite movies from last year. And <laughs> I didn't realize till the end credits rolled, I must have missed it in the opening credits, that it was Marielle Heller, and she directs the shit out of this movie. She does such a good job, and that's probably the best part of the movie, is the direction is phenomenal. She really is able to help the audience get into Lloyd's mind and where he is in, a, in his mental state at the, at, during the movie. But I think that Marielle did a phenomenal job. I think the script was solid. I, th I th like I said, I th I did like that they tackled uh, not so surface level subject matter, and I think Tom Hanks was good. I thought Matthew Rice was really good as Lloyd, but I'm not sure if Tom Hanks is going to get to the Oscars or not. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a Golden Globe nomination, but of course they do have him in a supporting actor role in this, so that will help his odds quite a bit of getting nominated. We'll see what happens. But overall, I was surprised with A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, and I really enjoyed it. I thought Mary Heller did an amazing job directing, and I'm going to be rating A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood an 8.5 out of 10. Have you guys seen it yet? What did you think of it? Did you watch Fred Rogers as a kid? Let me know. And I'll be back with another video.